had a think about it and I hadn't done a Taylor Swift song for a while and the reason for that was every single time I said anything about Taylor Swift or the song, people come into the comments to go, you're wrong and this is why you're wrong, you absolute clown, why haven't you done your research? And my thinking was always because it's a blind reaction. I've took some time away from it and I came to the realisation that I've been brutally harsh about bands with quite the fandom. A lot of the metal bands I've absolutely slated. K-pop bands, BTS, I have ripped the fucking ass out of BTS. And people have come in and went, I appreciate your reaction. Even though you didn't like the song, I appreciate your reaction. I'm gonna fucking judge it on the music, like I always do with every other band and I don't know why I was giving Taylor Swift more than that because everybody was saying oh you, you need to go and watch the interviews on the long pond and like hear what the song's about no i don't i've just done los havas i don't even understand the fucking language i shouldn't need to know taylor swift's life story in order to know what a song's about and if i do need to know every aspect of her life to understand the song it's not good songwriting because good songwriting should be universal. We're gonna do Taylor Swift, we're gonna do Mirrorball. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna listen to the fucking song and just judge it on whether it's actually a good song and see if it's not. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, and see if it is. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Cause I've been quite, I've been quite kind to Taylor Swift recently. This album so far has been pretty fucking good. <laughs> That wee run was lovely. Also, I think that's a theremin that's playing in the background. That's really good. That's that's quite cool. I, I like I like the wee theremin. The guitar line at the start, I was like, oh, that's here comes the sun by the Beatles. But it's not because it didn't it doesn't go to the last chord. But the start of it, I was like, ah, oh, ah, I see. Ah, that's nice. I remember that. <laughs> didn't go to that last chord. That surprised me. I'm happy about it. Anyway, let's go back. I want to hear that note. The thing that made that chorus kind of cool there was when she says just for you because I assumed that she was going to sing just for you on the beats of that of that section so it should have come in like slightly like like a hair later and then followed the beat but she deliberately sang it early and it was it was just cool it was it, it just makes it slightly odder than what you're than what you're ready to hear which kind of then jolts your brain a little bit it's a nice wee stylistic touch that she's done there i like that spinning in my highest heels love shining just for you hush i know they said the end is near but i'm still on my tallest tiptoes spinning in my highest heels love shining just for you Every thing about 
about me to fit in you I'm not like the regulars the masquerade revelers drunk as they watch my shattered edges glisten hush when no one is around my tears you'll find me on my toes Spinning in my highest heels, love shining just for you. In a different universe, Taylor Swift went a different direction with her life and decided that instead of trying to become the biggest pop star on the planet, she was instead just gonna stay true to her roots and do this shit. My point being. If she had done this, right, from the start, she could have been like Amy Mann or Gemma Hayes or Rachel Yamagata or someone probably better than them. But that kind of level where she's like, not commercially loaded, but critically lauded. And I know people are going to come in the comments and go, she is critically lauded because of this, this, this and this. But she also gets a shit ton of backlash and you guys have to just accept that that's true. And that is why you guys go on the defensive so much because you're sick of the backlash against it. And I understand that, but what I'm saying is, if she had done this from the fucking start, she wouldn't have had any of the backlash because this is legitimately fucking gorgeous. And our other pop stuff isn't all this time I've been sitting here going Taylor Swift kinda shit I've been wrong she's actually pretty fucking good but turns out when she does this hmm absolutely bang on what I like from a female singer songwriter this is legitimately a very very good song it's just it's just a nice simple song with a really strong melody to see if Taylor Swift just brought out acoustic albums I'd buy them I'd buy them happily But I'm still on my tallest tiptoes Spinning in my highest heels, love Shining just for you And they called off the circus Burned the disco down When they sent home the horses And the rodeo clowns I'm still on that tightrope I'm still trying everything To get you laughing at me And I'm still a believer but I don't know why I've never been a natural All I do is try, try, try I'm still on that trapeze I'm still trying everything To keep you looking at me Because I'm a mirror ball I'm a mirror ball I'll show you everything that wee electric guitar line that was going out throughout that last chorus was absolutely bloody lovely. Her deep voice, like she's got a lower register than I thought she did. It's kinda cool, it's got quite a husky tone to it. It'd be interesting to see if she could do a song like just in that voice. It's just a nice simple wee ballad. There, w there was nothing groundbreaking in that song in the fucking slightest, but that is fine. That doesn't, that doesn't need to be. It was just a very good wee tune. Tell me guys, what did you think of that song? Put it in the comments below. How angry are you right now at some of the things that I've said about Taylor Swift? Put that in the comments below too, because it's funny and I like an argument. I need to stop. I need to stop. Right guys, that was Mirrorball by Taylor Swift. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Or not. <laughs> let's, let, let's be honest, probably not. See you later guys.